Live with Clive. I'm pretty late, so this is gonna have to be short. Sarah L. wanted to know about my vision board. I think I'll talk about that quick. I read this book called Finding Your Element by Ken Robinson, and it had this exercise in it called a vision board. And basically what you do is you take some sort of blank canvas, you hang it up in your room, and you just draw stuff on it or attach stuff to it or glue stuff to it. Pictures, words, ideas, these things that kind of, it just helps you be present. Or you can use it as an idea of like a future vision or for ideas or for inspiration or just anything. It's, it's kind of like a visual journal. It's diverse, it's organic, it's creative, and it's fun because you get to express yourself and just create stuff all the time. One sec. Ah. A lot of YouTubers do a fan mail wall. They have like a, a, a wall 2.0. They keep upgrading their wall with all their, I shouldn't say fan. A lot of YouTubers have a community member wall where they attach stuff that, the you, that the, their viewers send to them. And that's kind of the same idea of a vision board, except it's more of a personal thing than it is showcasing what everybody likes about what you create. It's what you see and what you think about. I have the Sean Covey leadership tree on there from a book I read. I have the three circle Venn diagram up there. I have the fish, I have the slight edge, I have the ocean of life, I have the rules of a creator, and I have a couple other stuff. Like, I have my own personal philosophy up there that I made an acronym out of my name one time in a leadership workshop. That's a pretty cool idea. When I was in ninth grade, I got into leadership images and the idea is that you can learn something visual and it can help you teach a specific concept about something. And I have like the Habitudes books and the Slight Edge and the Tree. You can see that they're all visual. Even the largemouth bass fish face that I drew when I was in seventh grade is kind of symbolic of this idea that we swim in life and we have to make sure we recognize the water that we swim in. It's an ongoing creation of what you want. That's what a vision board is. It's a way of being aware of what you're thinking about and kind of how you're seeing things. You draw what inspires you and you keep it close to you and you maintain an awareness of what you value and what you create and how you can implement it into your life. Like those ideas on that vision board, I can implement that. That's something that I can actually take an idea and I can live out that idea. I can take what I've learned from that concept and I can apply it practically in my life to make, make my life better, to live my life better. I think that's awesome. I gotta finish this. It's like the inner and outer world. You have your inner world and you have the outer world and the vision board kind of connects how you see things. It's supposed to be positive. You're supposed to draw positive things on it, but really it's a blank canvas. You can draw whatever you want on it. It's just supposed to be kind of an outlet for you to create and to see things and to be aware and to have reflection time. You can use a cork board. I've seen, I want a cork board for my room where you can actually just tack pictures and for magazines and or pictures you take up there. It's supposed to represent you though. It's not supposed to represent too much of the outer world. It's supposed to represent how you see, how you see things. Cool things with cool people. It's about believing that you have some values to offer and then your opportunities, you can create them if you kind of see the value that you can create in terms of your perspective. I, mean, I could talk millions and millions of hours about these ideas because they apply practically anywhere. I don't know what it is about it. Maybe I'll never truly know what it is about it. That's cool. The idea that you can take a simple concept like the growth of a tree and apply it to creating yourself is pretty profound and amazing to me. That's pretty cool. So that's why I do vision board. Don't forget to be awesome. Project 14, day eight. That's all I got. There's more where that came from, though. Simple, fundamental life truths. That's what leadership images are to me. Goodbye!